Hi, this is Sandra and Megan's um, lesson nine group problems. Uh, for number one, um, it asks to diagram an intermediate strand of DNA replication. Did you want to show yours? Or you want to show mine? Yeah, I have that here. Um, this is, uh, I don't know if you guys can really see it because it's like in red, but this is Harry Case and <laughs> just look at that. I don't know. Um, this is Harry Case. This is um, DNA polymerase one, and then that is the RNA primase. And what else do we need to show? These are Okazaki fragments here, like the dashes, and then this is the five prime, the three prime, and so forth. So I don't know. Look at that. That's where. Um, and you'll know um, it had like um, A through H, so the ORIC, DNA primase, helicase, RNA primers for the leading and lagging strands on there. Uh, the two leading strands for DNA polymerase 1 and 3, alpha subunit, and then she pointed out the yeah, um, Okazaki fragments. Yeah, everything is there. So if you just take a look at it, you can see all of those. Mm -hmm. um, and then for number 2... We have, for A, it's DNA polymerase and DNA primase. For B, it's DNA um, A. And then for C, it's the Colton? The other one? What? Epsilon, right? Yeah. 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 It's epsilon and gamma, like both of them. And then for D, it's DNA polymerase 3, the alpha subunit. Mm -hmm. And then for E, it's the TUS. Protease, and for F it's DNA polymerase 1, for G it's topluosomerase, for H it's ORC, and for the I it's single-stranded DNA binding proteins, and for J it's DNA ligase. And then for 3 we have um, the least 5 en enzymes for carriers or carrier to dextransium ATP, so I have DNA A, DNA gyrase, DNA primase, DNA helicase, and DNA ligase. And then for B, I have um, DNA polymerase 1, DNA polymerase 3, DNA polymerase 3 alpha, because DNA polymerase 3 uses DA to B, um, DNA polymerase gamma, and DNA polymerase 5. And then for C, we have um, DNA polymerase 1, 3, DNA polymerase alpha and epsilon and then telomeres. Then D, um, D we have RNA polymerase and for E we have telomeres and DNA polymerase. Okay. Um, for four, um, A starting from the five prime going to three prime, it's A C T G A T G G T. C C T G C J T A T. Yeah, she, she wanted to explain that. Okay, she said something. So she said, like, if the triphosphate that we're supposed to use, like, for um for the sequence isn't there, then it just stops where it doesn't exist. Like for the second one, we have like T C D C M P. That's cytosine monophosphate and since we can like use cytosine monophosphate we just have like A because the next sequence after A is G and we need to put in C there but there's no like cytosine triphosphate so that ends it but yeah that's it things going okay uh for B it's five prime A three prime and then for C it's five prime A C three prime and for D it's five prime A C T three prime um, then for five, we have um, which of the above proteins is found in prokaryotes? So we have DNA gyrase, DNA A, DNA primase, DNA polymerase one, DNA polymerase three, alpha subunit, and TUS. And then for B, we have proteins found in mouse. We have CDC6, DNA polymerase alpha, DNA polymerase epsilon, telomerase. UTNA, MCM helicase, and DNA primates. And then for C, which of the above proteins is involved in chromosome compaction? We have DNA kinase, that's toposomerase 2. And then for D, we have um, 
MCM helicase, CD66, DNAA, and DNA helicase, and then FE, which are, are both proteases involved in termination stage of DNA replication. We have detox for prokaryotes and telomeres for eukaryotes, and that is it for today. Bye. Bye.